You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for lyre-leaved sage, Salvia lyrata. Lyre-leaved sage is a perennial plant with a basal rosette of leaves. It spreads easily and could become a ground cover in some places. It grows one to two feet tall when it blooms in the spring. You can find this plant in the mid-central and eastern states of the U.S. The primary leaves are basal and grow in a rosette. The leaves are deeply lobed with an overall leaf shape sometimes referred to as lyrate or lyre-shaped. Parts of the leaf may be purple-tinged. The venation is pinnate. Small hairs cover the leaf. This close-up view shows the hairs lining the leaf's margin. Each lyre-leaved sage plant has at least one flower stalk rising from the basal leaves. Here we can see two flower spikes growing from the base of this plant. The flower buds develop while the flower stalk rises upward. There may be smaller leaves arranged oppositely along the flower stem. You can just see a flower forming within the lower sepals of this inflorescence. Flowers bloom from the bottom to the top of the inflorescence. This inflorescence is nearly mature and is now waving a foot or so above the basal leaves. Tubular flowers emerge from united sepals. The flowers grow in whorls spaced apart along the stem. Each whorl of flowers is in a different developmental stage. Sometimes the flower stalk will branch so that one or two additional inflorescences grow near the central raceme. The flower's tubular shape is relatively long, about one inch, and flares into an upper lip and a lower lip. The longer lower lip provides a landing platform for potential pollinators. Let me point out a couple other things in this image. The flower itself is hairy, and there's a nicely formed bud emerging. The stamens extend just a bit beyond the fused petals. Looking into the open end of the flower, we can see stamens with purple anthers nicely arranged above the lower lip. After fertilization, the corolla falls to the ground. When the lyre-leaved sage flower becomes successfully fertilized, it develops its seeds. Since this plant is a member of the Lamiaceae, or mint, family, the seeds are referred to as nutlets. The nutlets grow deep within the sepals. Even the sepals are hairy. This whorl of sepals and nutlets includes both very young green nutlets and maturing tan nutlets. As the nutlets continue to mature, they change color from the light green to tan and then to a dark brown. When we move back a little, we can see separate whorls of sepals with their nutlets growing along the indented stem. Lyra leaf sage may grow quite a few flower stalks from the basal rosette of leaves. Or there may be just a couple stems. Frequently, there's a single stem. Did you notice how all the stems are hairy? And the stems have angles, ridges, and indentations. This is an example of a plant with a square stem, again a member of the Lamiaceae family. As mentioned before, the nutlets grow deep within the sepals. The sepals begin turning from green to brown. The color change indicates the nutlets are reaching maturity. Eventually, the entire whorl of sepals turn brown. And then, the green stems turn brown too. Breezes help shake the nutlets loose from their dried sepal covers. The leaves remain green, tinged with purple, during colder months of the year. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Salvia lyrata, also known as lyre-leaved sage. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of lyre-leaved sage, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.